Charging by induction using a positively charged object. This time again, we're going to charge an electroscope. So here's an electroscope that is currently neutral. And we're going to charge it with this positively charged object. We know that charging by induction gives us the opposite. So if this starts off as positive, this is going to end up negative. And again, nothing's going to happen here. So I could just, instead of actually keeping track of the four electrons here that aren't going to go anywhere, I will say that here's my positive object. I take the positive object and I bring it close to the electroscope. Now, the electroscope has the eight pluses and it has the eight minuses. So these two leaves normally just go straight down because two neutrals don't do anything to each other. But when I bring the positive object close, positive attracts the negatives. And since this is all a conductor, the negatives try to go up to the positive. They can't go across to the positive because it's not close enough. If it's touching, then they can go. But right now, they're going to the top to get to the positive. Now, because the electrons left here, this end is now positive and the two like charges repel. When I then ground this with this uh, the object close by, this is where I've always found it kind of confusing. These electrons, you would normally think, well, they're going to escape to ground. No, positives are attracted to the negatives and the negatives are attracted to the positive. Opposite charges attract. These guys can't move, the positives can't move, but the negatives can. So since the electroscope and ground are attached, they're all one object. So the electrons in the one object will all be attracted to the positive. So extra electrons will be attracted up to the positive. They can't get across, but once enough are dumped there, more are like no more come in and then you're essentially done except and actually what you'll also notice that this will kind of balance out but don't worry about that for right now you then disconnect it from ground so these electrons are stuck here you remove the positively charged object and now these guys will redistribute so let's say i'll put them over the pluses for now one over each plus one over each plus and I have four extra that are stuck there and now this has two pluses and three minuses two pluses three minuses these are both negative and they repel again now I took a positively charged object and I made a negatively charged electroscope because I bring the positive close I connect it to ground and the electrons are attracted to the positive, build this up, and then when I disconnect it, they're stuck there, leaving this negative.